All right, this is a Pepper Panic Saga level 290 walkthrough tutorial video. Um, a couple members in our group today were having trouble getting past this level. I haven't got a chance to write the tips yet, so I'm going to go ahead and make one of these videos real quick and then add some tips later. Um, I just loaded the game and I got a really nice board layout to start. You can see over here that I have my L. I intended to say that if you don't have this, you know, you probably want to go over here and uh, use your quit button until you get at least like the gaps that you need to set up an L. Um, there's seven matches, they're all hard. You only have 28 moves, so it's a good idea to start off with a board that'll at least give you the chance to set up the first L because once you start growing peppers and the and the cat starts taking them away it gets a little bit harder to set things up so I don't have to start over here but keep that in mind if you're having trouble um, completing this level so we'll go ahead and make our first L and you can see over here we also have the T that we need next so we'll go ahead and make that alright so now we need another L um, you saw what the gap for the L looks like. We need a pair we need a pair going this direction and then we need a pair that is sitting um, catty corner to that. So here you can see we have part of one. Um, but we don't have any red pepper to bring down to get in here and this one's gonna get taken away anyways. So that's not very good. Um, we have part of one here. If we can bring a blue pepper down this way, that'll be helpful. So I'm gonna go ahead and just um, I'm gonna I'm gonna focus over here, and I can see that the cat is going to take this red pepper here. So these yellows are going to clear out naturally. So I'm going to go ahead and work above that and see if I can get a um, a blue pepper to fall into this row. So I can make either one of these matches here. I'm going to go ahead and pull the green one down because that'll get a new pepper to fall, and we'll see if it's blue or not. Okay, so now we have a blue one that we need up here, but this is blocked completely. So let's look around and see what else we have. Um, we have part of the the thing that we need here. We got two going this way and one going that way with the with the final one in place there. Um, if I if I match this, this is going to explode. Um, this blue one which is going to drop this green one to where it's going to be grabbed but we'll have another green one below so out of all the choices we have I think this would be the best match and then we'll see how things develop after we make it oh, that was kind of a mistake you can see but that's why this is a tough level. It's it's a little bit hard to keep track of where everything's going to go. And you know, you have enough moves that you can afford a couple of mistakes like that and it shouldn't ruin your chances. So, at this point we we don't have the the gap that we need set up anywhere. It gets a little bit harder to see them whenever everything is um when all the peppers are grown like this, but We'll go ahead and see if we can't bring some peppers together. Let's look for... Whenever it gets like this, it's probably not a bad idea to just start a panic and clear things out a bit. You can catch the, the matches in the uh, cascade sometimes. I'm just trying to see where the best place to start exploding things will be. I'm going to go ahead and do it over here. 
Uh, the green are pretty grown, and we'll see how things fall into place. He's going to clear a bunch of peppers in this row, so we really don't know what the board's going to look like until after that happens. Alright, so that doesn't change anything a whole lot. Except for now the yellow <coughs> peppers are are the quickest way to start a chain, re chain reaction. Let's see we got uh, four stage four and uh, two stage fours of stage one here so that's going to create an explosion and if that doesn't go all the way to a panic which it might or it might not then we can go ahead and start the yellow on the next move so we'll go ahead and do that but that is going to start the uh, we caught one of our L's there and that just reaffirms the reasoning behind um, when you don't have the gaps you need to, to start a little bit of action and get things to move around alright now we need to look for our gap for the T the, the gap for the T is a little bit different because we need to um, we need to have a pair like this basically so this looks like our best spot at the moment so what I'm going to do is um, try to see if I can bring a yellow pepper down into this spot alright so that's closer but it's not we can't move it if we if we match the green it's gonna bring oh yeah actually if we this is this is fine if we match the green here it's gonna make a T for us so that worked out well alright so we have our L already set up over here now we're gonna wait till this this is gonna start another reaction and clear the board out and we'll be able to uh, look for another T alright so we have most of it right here we see our gap this is what we want um, but we also have the T already there um, since this one's going pretty smoothly I just want to point out the fact that say this green T wasn't here already what we could do is we could match the greens they're going to combine together to one the yellow one's going to move to the left they're going to combine to one that's going to sit here and the blue is going to sit right on top so you can see right there we would have been able to set up the T for the very next match but we don't have to do that in this case so we'll go ahead and make our T and now we have to make a five pepper straight line match so a lot of us got <laughs> a crash course in this one with the um, with the uh, level 259 the old way that it used to be but basically what we're looking for is we're looking for a gap of a pair of peppers like this one with a pepper to the side that we can move into the middle and as you can see right here we can set this up right now we have a two pepper a stage two a stage three and a stage one that's going to add up to six so that's going to give us a pepper that's not going to explode and it's going to sit right where we want it to and that's going to drop this other pair of blues down and um, it's going to sit right on top and now we can make our five pepper match and finish the level so hopefully what you take away from that is is the most important thing is finding those gaps and then working the peppers you need into place um, it is one of the more difficult match pattern levels that they've come out with because the cat's involved but you can definitely help yourself out by you know getting a good start using the quit button in the beginning if you need to and then always looking for the gaps first and trying to move things into place if you if you can't move them it's good to clear things out and get a new start 
and um, hopefully that will get you through it before too long. All right, thanks.